most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. Transitions. Transition, we're going up down. Yeah. You have any pressure on this, it won't feed through. Which is why when you're going down, you're always holding your hand like this. Because it doesn't take very much pressure to hold it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look like it'll break. We're not sure what they look like before they break, but <coughs> <coughs> I can imagine the look on my face if it breaks. <laughs> I want to see the look on your face if it breaks, Frank. Make sure you look up when that happens. Please? No, I want to see where I'm landing. <laughs> I'm landing anywhere. Come on, rope. That'd be good. There's nothing wrong with this ladder at all, but since you got all the clown rigging up, we might as well carry on. Well, it keeps going down. Huh. And it goes the other way, too. There, we made it down this real nice looking ladder, and it goes further down than that. I'm planning on going down there, not on opening anymore, so. It's pretty tough getting down there. And then I could. There's a ladder there. Uh, give me a minute. I think I will. Since there's a ladder there, I might as well, I guess. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know if I can get down there. By backpack? I don't think so. Pretty skinny. Um, let's have a look down this way. No, that doesn't go anywhere. All right, well, it does go down a skinny place. Huh. Yeah, I have to. I might as well go down that other part. Okay. It's too skinny to go with my pack, but I got my helmet cam, so. And I got the rope, so. Alright. I have to go down backwards, and it's skinny, but there's a ladder going down, so I'm gonna head down there. Alright, so we're gonna stick our ass down there. I don't know how smart that is, but. <laughs> That's what we'll say. Same thing. I don't know how smart I am. But, you know, you don't gotta be smart, just lucky. <laughs> and you guys just watching this and grateful it's not you. <laughs> yeah, well, it's all fun, right? Sometimes you do something like this and it leads to something really cool. Other times it just leaves you getting wet. <laughs> We're dirty. Uh, holy crap. I'm starting to get really skinny. Oh, it gets skinnier and skinnier. I ain't going right down there. No senior signs are getting any bigger. Oh, it's just getting smaller. Yeah, we're down there. I'll show you my leg down there. It looks like it just pitches right out. That black you know. oh. so dusty here you see me. 
That's what the rest of the package looks like. I don't think you can get in there. I'm not seeing any way in out of there. All right, we're out of here. What are you seeing up there? A slow mo shot of a shitload of bats. Oh, well, the bats are coming out of there. Another exciting day in this mine. That's right, another exciting day of mine exploring. Hopefully we'll find this cat down here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the elusive miner's cat. We know he's hiding down here somewhere. He's gotta be here somewhere. We're talking about that ring-tailed miner's cat, guys. <laughs> There's some writing on here, what you say? Strong ladder? It says strong ladder. <laughs> well, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I'll trust it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pretty nice looking down here though. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good looking ladder. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see what's down here. Pretty nice looking truck. All the way down. Very cool. How far is the ladder strong for? <laughs> Let's hope it's strong all the way to the bottom. There's our first cross cut right here. Okay. What do we have over here? Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta walk softly here because huh. Yeah, let me try to jump over here real quick. There's a box of cigarettes in the left there. <laughs> Came in. Hard to be a little stale now, eh? <laughs> Feel like a smoke? <laughs> I hate it when people smoke in mines, man. It just pollutes their freaking mind. Like oh, it's terrible. The smoke just hangs there. You can't get rid of it. So we're coming into our first drift here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, hey, look. We don't have to walk anymore. We can ride a broom. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you're wearing the wrong kind of hat, Frank. <laughs> yeah. That's going to just keep going down and probably join the... Probably just going to join the... There, yeah. There's one going in that way. I wonder if we should explore that first. Well, let's see if we have... Do we have, we have anything up in here or no? No. No, it just stopped right there. You think this is a big pipe, so you don't want to put your weight on it. It's just a thin... It's just a thin little <laughs> vent pipe. Yeah. Just press those down. Probably. Let me try it. <laughs> <sighs> yep. That looks like. Oh, there's a cool old uh, container here. Square container or something. <laughs> looks like there's a level here. Oh, how neat. Here, Frank. Oh, yeah. Hop down here, there's a level we can check out right here. Going uh, back to the other part. There we go. Oh, look at this old. Oh, there's an old kerosene. Yeah, yeah it's a, that's a kerosene tin. Yep. See any spiders in it? See a shaker. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Probably full of uh, brown recluse. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we did get in. See guys, we did find another drift. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh huh. At one time there was some water running here. You can see the water line on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, everywhere. Oh, nice big room in here. I wouldn't be surprised if we're below that. Drifted off that way. We got oh, a shot. Uh, here, there's a uh, this little panel's on the name. 
What'd you find? Oh, it's a little pale somebody made. Okay. Part of a boot. A miner's boot. Part of a boot and... I don't know what that is. Huh. Help with something. Just a couple of... Okay. Garbage. Let's look over here. I've seen a bunch of uh, old dynamite pieces of old dynamite pieces boxes. There. There's a shoot here. Well, now I'm wondering if this is the bottom or not. So I was thinking about roping down in here. Right where the miner's cat was. There it goes up. I'm going to have to climb up there and see what's up there. I found a newspaper here. Don't know if I can get a date off of it or not. Let's see. Maybe. Hmm, possibly. Let's see here. Nope. Nope. No date. The ore came down off the stork, so I'm going to see if I can climb up there. Let's see if I can find anything interesting up there. I might just end here, but it looks kind of cool. You gonna climb up there? Here he's on. Up. Oh. Yeah. Not too much of a climb up into here. There we go. It's, the toughest thing is try to keep the dust down, not kick stuff around too much because it makes it pretty nasty for exploring with all the dust in. Yeah. And we're gonna keep on seeing how far we can get up. Oh yeah. Oh, it goes both ways. Pretty neat. Okay. Well, I shouldn't be too hard to get up into there. Make sure my pants are pulled up. Pull your pants up, Frank. Because they're tight to the big, large strides. And, and pull up your you zipper too. You don't Would have you? a crotch before you know it. I mean, the gate is open, but the beast is asleep. Is that the saying? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Part of an old. Uh, oh, yeah. What is that? Like a. No, that's not a mason jar. Something like that, eh? Something oh, similar yeah. to a mason jar. It's pretty neat. Huh. All right. Um, it goes. Let me have a look here. See what we Okay. Find. Well, this is going to end here. It's just a big room here. All right. Uh, there was a north pass going down there, but it's plugged. Now I'm going the other way. There's a little ladder going up. The two three step ladder. Putting a lot of faith in that skull, but <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at your uh, it looks pretty sturdy. We'll show you up here. I'm more worried about his ladder his camera falling. Me? <laughs> okay, uh, now, openly, this is solid, because if not, I'm going to go crashing down there, but it's just loose gravel down there, so it'll be alright. Okay, so. Okay, so the going to come up. You know, you're like about four pounds heavier than this, so don't break that timber. <laughs> See, from here, a guy could probably just jump across to there. There's nothing really there, so I'm coming back across this way. You can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've used this tin everywhere to cover the rocks, so stuff slides a little better, I guess. Let's see if I can get a good handhold here. Man, the air's just screaming in here, so that's good. That's what you want to see, because then you know it goes out somewhere. See, it's just a little tight there, not bad. So one thing we've learned by going through these tight spots, even though this isn't that tight, is the best way to do it is on your back. It's not good, but it works best. Then you can pull up your arms. All your tools are placed in the right direction. That makes it really 
Except, uh, occasionally you get a few rocks down your pants. But, you know. Yeah, you just put your feet right up on the ribs there, and that works pretty good, doesn't it? It's a lot better than going on your stomach. Heck yeah. Because you can use all your... Oh, oh. Use all your tools. That's one thing, if a rock falls like six inches to your head, it's not going to hurt much. As long as it's not too big. <laughs> <laughs> Except, every now and then you get a cactus in you. Yeah, that's what you need. That. That's a big hazard in the desert. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so looking above us here, we got... Now speaking of cactuses, eh, that's old cactus. Look at all that. That's very cool. Probably the false floor we were walking on up there and you didn't even know. Yeah. Oh, there's your light right there. I see your light. I think we made a circle, Frank. Huh. Wow. How come we didn't notice this here? <laughs> well, that's weird. I think we made yep. a big circle. I think so. Oh, we didn't even know that was there. <laughs> Well, that was cool. <laughs> and guys, we're right back where we started from. <laughs> well, this gives me... Oh, we're even heading in the wrong direction. I didn't think we would be... Well, that's weird. <laughs> I'm completely turned around. I would have thought we'd come out there. See how you can get turned around in these mines, guys? Yeah. So, uh, we're going to take a break here a moment and just head back down in. Be back in a sec. Okay, everybody. Frank had to go back outside to... Uh, uh, find a bush and use the bathroom. So while he does that, we're gonna wait here and ambush him. <laughs> this is me getting back at Frank for the darn cave cricket the other day. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, a moment ago we were just right up there we work the ladders down the next to the next drift, which that's where we're headed to right now. You see Frank here. So we're working our way down. And uh, we were over there just a moment to go, but that's as far as it goes. There's a screen thing over there. I don't know what they were using that for. So yeah, the plan is now follow Frank right here and see if we can get to the next level. Stuff's are all nicely polished. <laughs> I think a few guys have went up and down them. Yeah. We haven't tested these. Normally we'd use a rope to go down, but that seems so good. Oh, there we go. There's a cross cut right here. Okay. I'm coming next here. Okay, come on down. All right, my You're turn. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're down another cross cut. Man, these cross cuts. All along here, boy. Pretty neat, and I continue. We don't go down a long ways yet, so it looks like we're gonna have a pretty good day today. So, this is the cross cut that we're wanting to explore next. Oh, 63 foot level, it says. Okay, so we're not even 100 feet down. 63 below the main hall level. And we've got some chutes in here. Hmm. Yeah. A whole bunch of ore shoots in here. Yeah, there's a false floor here. It goes down a long ways. But the, the boards seem good. I tested it out. Test it out by uh, jumping up and down, Frank. You know, see, that's all made down, huh? Yeah. Looks like there's another level down there. Oh, yeah. we got a fair bit of mine to see down there, yeah. That's got to be an ore pass. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's another one over there. Stop of an ore chute here. <laughs> yep, another ore pass here below us with another false floor. That's what we're looking at. Top Here's of a piece of this sticks they've been using for. Damn, there's nothing to them. That's just like rotten, real light. That's they've been using to hold the stuff up on the false floors, I think. Yeah, all that. Uh... <laughs> Man, look how brutal that is. That's what they were holding, holding up all that cut and fill. Yeah. Higher up. 
Oh, really? There's, there's a big pile of it there. That, of course, we walked right underneath. There's a big pile of it. Oh, yeah, look at there. So, well, that's just about useless, that stuff. Yeah, so that's what they were using this for, guys, is, is cut and fill to put in behind the stalls. But this stuff here was definitely being used by the original miners. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, well, let's see a little bit of mineralization in here. Not so much. Right Frank, you notice how the smell changed? There's a just a hint of like a sulfurous kind of a smell in the air. I got a big nose, but I don't smell that good. You know what that is, don't you? They farted? No. <laughs> <laughs> <That's really> so, <laughs> um, when they're it, when they're blasting, if they're using ammonium nitrate, oh, that's well, kind well. of the that's kind of the smell you get. Oh yeah. Ninety-five verticals. Oh, going down, I guess. Ooh. Does that say ninety? Ninety-five vertical. No, oh, this one's gonna end here. So nothing, nothing here. That's it, huh? Yeah. Here. Right, okay, watch. guys, back to the uh, decline here. That's where we're going. Yeah, hopefully, that cat doesn't eat my lunch when I'm here. What'd you make for lunch today? Same thing every day. I'm a real boring guy. <laughs> Salami and cheese sandwich. Salami and cheese. <sighs> On wheat bread, guys. Don't forget wheat bread. Frank doesn't eat white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this ladder's a little rickety. It's not real steep, as you can see, right? <laughs> it's not straight up and down. Oh, man. There's cross sections here, so. So you can only fall down as far as the next cross section, I guess. There's a piece of water here. This, this little chunk is really good for nothing. Uh, kick it out of the way, maybe. Yeah, just kick it out of the way. Don't, don't throw it down, because it'll make a bunch of dust. Well, put it right there. Just a little suction that joins the two up together. Okay. The rest of them seem all right. Let's see. Okay, that little chunk of ladder was crappy there, so we just chucked it out of the way. But it looks pretty good going down. And if we're going down backwards and we slide, we're not going to slide very far. Well, that's in theory, anyways. Not getting any steeper, so. All right. That looks pretty good. This part's really worn. That's a really old ladder. But it seems to be all right. Down, it's not held great. Okay, you want to come down to here? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll move out of the way because that. See, it's only nailed with one nail, but it's toe nailed, so I can't imagine it going anywhere. I hope. If it does, he's gonna wipe me out, so I'll move out of the way. <laughs> well, I'm keeping my feet close to where the. Yeah, that's not the problem. It's this problem is there's only one toenail on the side holding the side. Oh, but it might be nailed at the top too, so. Here, give me your lap camera here on this side, okay? Got right. it? Yep. Okay. So from there, where do we go here? I'll oh, just keep coming down. I see. Everybody's down yet. Okay, guys, now it's my turn to head down these steep ladders. I think that's the bottom there, Bob. I think we're, I think we're almost there. Maybe another. But it doesn't cross cut before you get long, but Let's look. Yeah. Just taking these ladders nice and slow, one foot at a time. You never know. Starting to trust these ladders, these always have ropes. <laughs> that could be our biggest mistake, Frank. <laughs> uh, you can't go very far, you can catch yourself on the side somewhere, and it's not really yeah. steep, you know, fairly steep. It's not like it's vertical. No, no. It's not straight up and down. Well, we both took our crazy pills this morning, so we're, we're doing pretty good, guys. So slowly but surely, we're working our way down these ladders. So uh, as I always say, if vertical was 90 degrees, I would say that ladder is probably about 80. But you got a lot of good handholds off to the left there. You can get a good, you can see right here, 
they built a uh, like a little handrail coming down. Yeah, um, save your life before you save your camera. Camera's under warranty. I got to spend a warranty on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have life insurance, but I have warranty, so. Yeah, yeah, you don't have life insurance, but you got a warranty on your camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shopped around, but I couldn't get any. <laughs> I got all the question on this. Are you freaking crazy? We're not going to insure you. <laughs> but we'll insure your camera. Which was even crazier because I don't have a camera the last four years. Well, well, take a look at what we've got here, Frank. So we've got a big drift. Going off to the left, and look at here, off to the right. Um, what are these boxes down here in the ground? What does that say? Oh, I'm not quite sure. Oh no, I thought it might have been. Check this out. Look at here. Look at the size of these logs. Can you imagine getting them down in there? <laughs> oh, yeah, just some stoles they put on the train coming down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. About 16 inches in diameter. Alright, so we came down there and now we're at this big major, looks like a major hall level. But it still keeps going down. Maybe not too much further though. Can I walk across that? I think so. I think so. 